it, guys. Fire our shit. Well, howdy, folks, and welcome back to the garage. This weekend, I've been playing a lot of World of Warships. It's the Pirate Bounty event. I got another video coming out for that. But I thought I'd take a little break, play some tanks, because I haven't played World of Tanks PC for a while. I'm going to play the uh, Sherman Thunderbolt, which I picked up about a year ago. It's really good armor, fun gun. It's a really fun tank. Uh, this is not an ace tanker battle, but it does show the importance of taking the opportunities when they're presented to you. Very important. Sometimes it's key shots, sometimes it's this or that, or just knowing when to push at the right time. Oh, have a look. It's pretty fun. All right. This is Provence map. This map used to be for low tiers only, and they changed it quite a bit during the big uh, upgrade to World of Tanks. So now they have high tiers playing on here, which is interesting sometimes. You still got that huge no man's land out in the middle of the map, which uh, only a fool would cross any time after the first few seconds of the map, I think. Like that ELC over there, just barely going to make it across. He's going to do some valuable spotting over there, though. Lots of people will be shooting at all the people he's... Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Here now. I didn't even realize I was spotted, but I don't have six cents on this tank. As of yet, I haven't played it enough. I picked it up just about a year ago, as I was saying earlier, and uh, this is a really fun tank. It's uh, it's an easy ape with a bunch of extra armor on it, basically. <laughs> two, 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 heading up the road. T25 in front, 34-100. That'd be an interesting tank. I'd like to pick that one up. And the FV-201, huh. Now, all this extra armor on this Sherman... As you can imagine, slows things down quite a bit. But you can see the plates on the sides there. That's basically effectively spaced armor and wrapping around the turret. And what they were doing was stripping armor plate off of dead or derelict uh, Shermans. And they'd torch out some plate and they'd weld it on just to give some added protection. The front there is also covered in plate. Basically took the plate off a of Sherman and just tacked the whole thing right on the front so it's effectively twice as thick. Now we got a KV-2 up here. 3002M. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I am the Ayatollah of Tankopolis. Thank you very much, sir. Taste that one, homeboy. Alright. The gun reloads very quickly. I'm thinking, if I remember correctly, it's like three seconds or something. And it's your typical easy 8 gun. Kind of half decent all the way around. Now we've got lining up here. I can't really do much from I don't want to get up there because that's a good place for Artie to keep finding you. So I'm going to try and hang out down here a bit. But as you know, corners get kind of crowded. <laughs> all the people are trying to work the same corner. Woo, he just got Artie. KV2, very dangerous. That's the only other trouble with this map. You get a lot of stalemates and standoffs, and sometimes those can be hard to break. Right now, I don't know. I don't want to be out. See, just like that. I'll take a second. <laughs> Give him a shot, and uh, very fortunately, he probably was not, not able to aim that up fully, and that's why I am uh, still alive right now. <laughs> I'm going to kind of angle in this way. Keep my front covered. I just don't want to really be around and giving that KV-2 a big target. And I just tried to take out that piece of wall just to see if it was destructible or not, but it was not, unfortunately. Oh, KV-2. Boom! Got one in. Back away. I probably should have darted back in and then really hugged the wall, but it all worked out in the end. So KV-2 is making a shot across the street there. And nope, he will not be appearing. Well, he's the one I'm really scared about there. Whoa, we just killed off Stug, so I'm making a break for it. I'm going to push up here. I'm just going to be very careful about that KV-2. I don't know where the heck I'll go if he shows up, but <laughs> we're trying it. I don't know if we're, oh, oh, God, there he is. He's not looking at me. We track him, and we damage him. I'm going to try and keep him tracked here. Whatever damage I can do. Yep, we've got both out of that one. Nothing that time. There we go. Damage. Putting it right through that drive socket there. Poof. Goodbye, KB2. You see how fast this gun loads? Quite fun. Hell Kitty. He is 
full health. 3002M, no health. Hat, yeah, someone's trying to arty me. This about killed their own player there. Now here's where you get another stalemate. They don't want to come out around that house. I don't want to go out around that house. <laughs> what do we got here? See, there's a Rudy He's trying to come up the road on our buddies over there, but I think they must have taken care of him. Oh, nope, they didn't. That Rudy is still there. I can't really do much for him. There's three of them up there. Oh, nope, not anymore. The heavy's coming down here to help me out, and that is much appreciated. Those other guys will have to take care of the Rudy, hopefully. Oh, Audrey took a big hit. Hello, Hellcat. Ah, he blew it. Shot the wall. Now I'm pushing out very quickly. Get that shot and get right back in there. This, I'm always going to have, especially Hellcat. They got not a very fast reload. Oop, see, and now I blew that one. That was his opportunity. He should have jumped out. He did eventually, but I hurt him again. I think this heavy's being a little aggressive because he's, there's an arty down the road there, a bishop. And he really wants that heavy tank. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Hell Kitty. All right. Now this TD over here, okay, I'm all alone again up here at the house. This TD doesn't have a lot of hit points. I'm not too scared of him. Uh, but that hurts. No doubt that hurts. Oh, I just about finished him, but not quite. There we go. Thank God for the reload speed of this gun. Oh, that's two kills. It's awesome. And we're going to get up here and see if we proximity spot in. Our T-34, is that the T-34-100? Yep, it is. He's flanking around the road there. As soon as he gets that guy spotted, if he... Okay, there's that. I think at this point, I'm going to make my way forward. Don't know where their light tank are. I don't know where their other arties are. But... Goodbye to the bishop. Thank you very much, sir. Right, play. Whoa, hoo, 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 hoo. that didn't even stun me. Isn't that interesting? Do, do, do. Nope. Dang it, missed him. We're gonna have to chase him down. I hope you guys are getting an interesting idea about this tank. It's ah, uh, yeah, he ducked down below just in time. And now they're capping us out. We've got three and they've got three, but two of theirs are arty. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident, but a good shot from an arty can just snuff me right out, so I still have to be careful. And we don't know at all where their uh, light tank is. He is not spotted on the map. What else we are? The FV-304 is just down the road over there. Not looking at me, thank goodness. Poof, taste that one, homeboy. Bert! Oh, Padre got this guy. I think... I don't know. This guy does not seem overly interested in me. He's not even facing me. Oh, and I miss! Like a fool! There's the M7 finally showing up. Wham! But our guy who's up on the hill still, the T25, takes out the M7 and that's the match. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. We'll have a quick look at the stats and then turn you loose. Well, now our first stat screen here. Personal score shows the first class. It wasn't, wasn't a mastery, but first class. A little more damage. I might have got an ace out of it. Uh, some lesser ribbons there. And then a Pascucci medal for destroying two um, artillery in a battle. Not too bad. Gross 31,000 credits and 1,069 base XP. Pretty cool. Now we're going to move on to the, uh, the next one. This is the team score. And I'm on top of the team here. 1,456 points of damage dealt. Again, the four kills and the 1,069. Who's that? That TD that I killed just before we went after the, the um, artilleries. That was their best player on that team, it looks like. So that kind of says something about it. We've just got better scores all around here. Well, folks, there you have it. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments. As well, be sure to visit my social media pages, both on Facebook and Twitter. This is where I post info that, well, not belonging in a video, it's worth taking a look at. Now, a lot of you have been very generous with donations, becoming patrons, or donating during the live streams, or sending in your replays so I can commentate and put them up for others to enjoy. But it's also very helpful just watching the vids, liking and subscribing. So I just wanted to make sure that those of you who support in that manner know that I really appreciate what you're doing as well. Thank you. Links to all things in the video description. All right, folks, thanks very much for stopping by and watching. I'll catch you next time.